Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Well, how do you do, Buckaroo? So I'm getting to... Oh, that is nice. I'm getting to my last one from the Schlafly Hop Trial Smash Pack <laughs> from the bottle here, Brambling Cross. Golden Ale, 6.5%. Hop Origin is United Kingdom. Uh, forward Bitterness. I'd say that they have checked the spicy box. The forward bitterness and robustly spicy aromas of dark berries and lemon intensify the distinctly aromatic nature of this crossbred variety. Brambling Cross. How about that? On the back of the box here, it tells you to look for uh, notes of black currant, zesty citrus, black pepper, tangy hops, licorice, and fiery, whatever that means. The aromas are just spectacular, though. Uh, it is subtle, but they're, they're just, uh, I don't know how to describe it. They're not, you know, they're, they're not necessarily big in your face, but what's there is just beautiful. Yeah, you do feel almost, yeah, it's just fiery. I'm, yeah, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take that a different direction. It almost feels like a nice uh, dried red pepper. Uh, yeah, uh, they say black pepper. You certainly get some of that black currant. I really have no idea uh, what black currant smells or tastes like, so I don't know. Uh, tangy hops, yeah, licorice. Not feeling that on the nose, but we'll see it on the taste. Oh, damn. Uh, well, see here. Here's the thing. <laughs> There's four of these. A Holler Tau Blanc. I had the Holler Tau Blanc first. I had the Enigma. And then I had the Eureka. And I made this statement during the Eureka. I've liked them all. But as far as the wheelhouse, the Enigma, the Enigma, or not the Enigma, the Eureka fit my wheelhouse the most. Uh, but now I have to change that and say it really is this one. This has a lot of the flavors that I really like. But, and, and I've really enjoyed these single malt, single hop beers because it showcases the hop. But now that I've had all four, I can kind of see how some of these hops can work in conjunction with each other to really make spectacular flavor. But having said that, I really like the showcase of a single hop that you can see what it does all by itself. And all, all are fantastic in their own way, to be honest with you. I've let this sit, it's not quite as subtle. I think with just my nose and the glass was full now, I'm really getting a lot of those notes uh, more intense than I was getting before. We typically, we didn't grow any this year, but in years past, uh, we would grow a lot of Thai peppers and then I would dry them in my oven. Uh, some of the aromas that I'm getting here, they describe as fiery, but that's that that's the the you know the memory uh, that I'm I'm getting is uh, the smell of those uh, of those uh, dehydrated, not roasted, but dehydrating Thai peppers. Uh, black currant again. I have no you know I, I don't have a I have no idea what a black currant supposed to smell or taste like. In all honesty. You certainly get those black pepper notes that they describe. Uh, tangy hops. Yeah, I mean, that's, that seems very general, but okay. Yeah, but there is a certain kind of, you know, tanginess going on, I guess. Uh, zesty citrus. Yeah, I mean, I think that kind of fits with tangy hops. I don't know. Zesty citrus, tangy hops. Seems, seems like the same thing to me. Uh, you certainly, I'm getting some lemon notes. Uh, for sure, a lot of uh, big lemon zest-like notes. Uh, I'm, I'm still, I don't know if I'm feeling the licorice that they describe. It's possibly in there, who knows. Uh, but the bottom line is, gosh, I just love this pack. I gotta be honest with you, I'm just a huge fan. I may have to go get another one, because I don't know if all my friends have access to it. I may have to get some to send to my friends. I just love the single malt single hop thing i love the simple elegance of all of these beers and what they have to offer uh, i love what schlafly has done here i love that it was only 60.99 for the 12 pack i didn't have to take out a loan to get it like so many things are costing these days in the world of craft beer 850 i mean this was 17 bucks for the 12 pack right 
for these specialty single hop hop trial beers. So I mean, you know, it's eight fifty a six pack in a world of craft beer these days. That 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 is not only reasonable, but it is incredibly inexpensive. Uh, that is just amazing. And again, I've I've said this in all three videos. I really think Schlafly is underrated. I think craft beer geeks need to pay more attention to them. Now maybe they don't do a whole lot over the top, but what they do is incredibly well done, and that should garner as much respect as doing one great hundred ingredient beer. And I think that's what craft beer folks are doing wrong these days, is that we, we thrust all of our attention on that one great hundred ingredient beer and not pay any attention to anything else that brewery does, rather than pay attention to a brewery that's been doing a lot of things right for a very long time. And I think that needs to get some attention to, in my particular opinion. Uh, but I am, I am admittedly an old school guy, so there you go. I gotta tell you, I love the spicy characteristics of this beer. I, I think maybe my perfect, uh, my per my perfect for my wheelhouse APA uh, might be something with with both the Eureka and the Br Brambling Cross. That combination of the pine and the spicy would work for me. Although most are gravis hey more towards the fruity end these days. But, but, but personally, for me, I love the piney and the spicy together. I would love to go a different direction because everything tastes like mango these days. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I just like those beers, but I, at this point, I think it's been done. But I would love to do an APA personally uh, with, with the combination of the Eureka and the Bramling Cross because I, I love, you know, the, 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 the herbal, uh, the earthiness, the, the cedar, the juniper of what that Eureka did. And then combined with the spicy notes of what this has to offer, I think would be an absolute gorgeous IPA. So if anybody at Schlafly gives a rat's ass <laughs> what the beer whisperer thinks i'd love to see you do an apa <laughs> with the eureka and the brambling cross because those two hops in my opinion are absolutely beautiful all are, all were great though to be honest with you but i w with everything tasting like tropical fruit these days to do an apa with just those two with that pine and that spice i think would be just gorgeous and it'd be so different from what what the mainstream is and and there you go, Schlafly. That's how you get on the cutting edge. You just, <laughs> it, 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 you know, uh, that, that came out wrong. Schlafly has been on the cutting edge for a long time. It, it does irritate me that a lot of breweries or a lot of craft beer geeks kind of ignore the brewery. They do, they're do. they doing some great stuff all the time. If you ever get out there, I, I've been out there about three times, and every time it's been the same bartender, uh, Paul. <laughs> And Paul knows his stuff, and he's very passionate about his beer, and that's what I like. I've been to several uh, brew pubs and brewery tap rooms where folks just, just really don't care. They don't want to wait on you. Uh, they act like it's an inconvenience for you to be there. They don't want to answer questions about their beer. And every time I've been to that Schlafly brewery, uh, that, that tap, the I've been to the Bottle Works once. I've been to the Schlafly tap room now three times and got Paul all three times. Every time I've been there, he's he's been incredibly helpful he he seems to enjoy answering questions about his beer he loves talking about the beer and when i go to a brewery tap room that's what i want so uh, I, I recommend all my beer friends to visit the schlafly tap room go say hi to paul tell him the beer whisperer sent you and these four beers have been absolutely phenomenal in my opinion i'm gonna burp now hold on sorry about that oh hope i didn't get any on you vegetable beef soup and you know beer <laughs> so i did i had a small rose that i did yesterday with some vegetables uh i had it for both lunch and dinner yesterday so but still had some leftovers so i made some soup out of it today and, and that's that's you <sighs> things are expensive these days i get that but you don't have to eat necessarily ramen noodles you don't necessarily have to do mac and cheese. Things don't necessarily have to be feast and famine. It doesn't have to be, you don't, you don't have to go from eating duck one day to Vienna sausages the next day. First, I'm not a duck fan, uh, you know, and I, I don't have the money to buy lobster even once a month, to be honest with you. But you can still eat decent. You can buy a roast and get three meals out of it, or maybe even four. I'm going to get another meal out of that soup I've got left. You know, you just got to kind of pay attention to what you're doing and shop right. 
and, and that's kind of what I did with this beer too. It was only $16.99. It wasn't on sale, but that's just a great price. So there you go. I, I guess the Schlafly didn't need me talking about my lunch and my dinner. <laughs> but I was kind of making a point how every, you know, you can, you know, anyways. Oh, nobody cares, Tom. I know nobody cares. I do love the spicy quality of this. I, again, I, I still don't, I, the black currant, I don't know, could be in there, could not be. I don't know. I don't know enough about black currant to make, a, <laughs> make an informed opinion. But there certainly is some zesty citrus. There certainly is some black pepper. There certainly is some tangy hops. Uh, yeah, you may you may get some licorice in there. I, I think it's very subtle to me now that I've let this sit a while. Um, fiery, that could be, uh, you know, that's up to interpretation to me. But to me, I'm interpreting it as uh, the, the memory I have of dehydrating Thai chili peppers in my oven. So there you go. I am Tom the Beer Whisperer. I want to thank everybody that listens to me. And uh, I want to thank Schlafly for putting out a pack like this. Because these beers are just, for me, again, it's just simple elegance. I love the idea of single malt, single hop beers. I would love to see them be available uh, all of the time. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's a market for it. I don't know how many folks like me want that simple just incredibly approachable drinkable beer where you really showcase one particular hop but personally i love the heck out of it i'm coming to beer whisper we'll talk to you later